My name is Hameen Edwards. I'm the founder of the Boston Inner City Youth Tennis Program. The program is designed to help children in the community uh, learn how to play the game of tennis with learning the fundamental skills and also um, expose them to tournaments within their region, their, their new USDA New England region. Uh, I believe that gives them an opportunity to see why they practice and um, where they level up to other kids within their age groups. This is the Boston Inner City Youth Tennis Program. We're gonna be working on some drills right now. Um, please feel free, come on in. Okay, break is over. Break is over. I want everybody on the baseline. We're gonna do some easy drills and then, then we'll, uh, we'll get a little bit harder as we go. For those that were out on the injured list, take your time, take your time. Put in your full effort, but take your time. I first um, discovered playing tennis when I was living in uh, the island of Montserrat. Um, there was a gentleman that, Mr. Arthurton, that took me to the beach. They had tennis courts at the beach and he, he exposed me to playing with him. Um, from there, my family moved back to Boston, the Boston area. Um, I was playing soccer when I was in Montserrat, but um, I wanted to play soccer when I came back to Boston. And the Sportsman's Tennis Club advertised that they had a little soccer program um, that they would play in the afternoons or early mornings, um, which sparked my parents' interest to sign me up to Sportsman's. Um, from going to Sportsman's, I picked up the game of tennis, um, of course, and um, I, played, I played for them for many years until I went to graduate from high school. The training was, was, was very rigorous. Um, they made sure you learned, they made sure you got in shape. Um, and the reward was being able to see all of the work that you put in um, actually come to fruition. So when you're out there with your friends and you know the ball's going back and forth 10, 20 times, um, and you all are just playing your heart out. It, it just made you think about uh, yourself on the court and the time you had on the court. It was just a a way to just take your mind away from everything. Nice and easy, swing right through it, step it on up. Come on, let's go. Step on up. You can do open stands, but you can also close it up at will. Come on, keep it going. You know what I like? Yes, there's some balls in the net, but if you look closely, the majority of your balls over the net. I got exposed to teaching for the community uh, at an early age um, from um, the founder that taught me at Sportsman's, Jim Smith's son, Les Smith. Uh, he worked for Boston Park and Recreation um, with Barbara Hamilton at 1010 Mass Ave. They offered me a position as a supervisor to uh, run a program for the city which was called Boston Park and Recreation. So we used to, they told me to get a, car, a friend of mine and, 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 and uh, have him join me to teach throughout the day. So I got a good friend of mine, Mr. Starte Brown. Um, we would, they gave us a company car, uh, balls, Gatorade, banner, rackets, and we went to different parts of the community and taught the game of tennis, introduced the game of tennis. And I did that for about three years, even onto when I was in college, I would come back up in the summertime and teach. Um, I love the freedom, the responsibility, uh, the growth that I seen that the kids were having. Um, but one thing that, that, that got my attention was, um, it was just an introduction. It wasn't a continuation. It was just an introduction to uh, the game of tennis. I felt that I had a lot to offer and I felt that if I could um, be able to train students and take them on the road and um, give them that all around effect, 
then um, it would be it would be great for the community. And that was one of the reasons why I started the program. Um, and it just so happened that um, we are here today. Boom, shuffle over, come back, get there, hit your shot, shuffle over. So you're running, you're running to the ball, running to the ball, stepping in, hit your shot, shuffle over, get back in the line. So you're gonna get two, then next person. Okay, two, next person. So everybody that's waiting, don't wait on the wall. Be ready, okay? It's gonna be backhands. We're working on backhands for this one. All right, ready, Akila? Let's go. Run over, shuffle up. Nope, you went the wrong way. It's okay, it's okay, shuffle. Shuffle, no, shuffle, nope. Shuffle in front so you know what you're doing. Okay, run over again. All right, shuffle, that means you need to, nope, 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 no. Nope. Shuffle around, I want you to do it right the next time. Ready, come on. Shuffle around, shuffle around, dig deep into the court. Nice, next person up. Shuffle around, shuffle around, dig deep into the court. Nice, come on, next person up. Out the way, Imani, quick as possible. Again, start again, come on, you gotta watch the ball. Come on, come on, let's go. Get there, dig deep into the court. Come on, hustle back, hustle back. Next person. I believe tennis um, helps build confidence. Um, it, 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 it's a sport where you're independent, you're out there on your own, and you have to, you have to figure out the strategy of what it takes for you to, to win a match or, or how to act when you lose a match. I mean, that's just as important as winning, too. Um, and you're on your own. All you can remember is the coaching, the practice, um, and how you feel out on the court. So I believe tennis brings a sense of independence, confidence, and when a child, what I realize is when children see that they're well on the court, uh, I believe it helps them in the classroom. The mistakes that we make as individuals growing up, um, you wanna correct, you wanna try and make corrections um, as you grow. Um, and there's some roads that I believe I went down that probably wasn't the best roads. Um, but I always came back to tennis, like tennis was that vehicle that helped me to keep moving forward. Um, so I reached a point in my life where I realized um, that I would, I, it was probably best me give my attention to the younger generation versus trying for myself to reach higher and higher heights in the game of tennis for myself. So I, I got satisfaction when I worked for Boston Park and Recreation. Um, I got satisfaction when I exposed students to tournaments and uh, they come back with the trophies. Um, I felt that that was rewarding for me and I felt if I could make um, children in the community experience some of what I was able to experience growing up um, on the game in the game of tennis it would be tremendous so um, I'm just thankful to be able to do the work that I'm doing um, it's 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 tough when you don't have funding <laughs> um, but I guess the love for the game and the love for the work that you do helps you to see beyond what you don't have and focused on the talents and the skills that are being developed. My name is Hameen Edwards. I'm the founder of the Boston Inner City Youth Tennis Program. Um, you can find us online at www.bicytp.com, which stands for Boston Inner City Youth Tennis Program. Feel free to give us a call, reach out, drop in, see some of our practices that our students are doing, and um, look forward to hearing from you.